thank you. So this is a joint paper uh, with John Liss, who is probably watching this uh, online, <laughs> and Anya, who was sitting there and bailed out last minute because I'm counting on her to answer questions about how the experiment was run. <laughs> and uh, uh, Louis Parman, who will not chime in because he's a chair, so <laughs> I'm left to, to carry the weight by myself. Um, so it's about transmissions of values that we are uh, concerned uh, uh, here. And a lot of uh, thinking has gone in over the centuries, really, how values, uh, uh, cultural norms are transmitted from uh, one generation to the other, either as a practical thing or as a preservation of uh, the culture, the race, or uh, whatever else. Uh, but let me know how practical uh, transmission is uh, taking place in uh, schools, in families, in society, although we all know that uh, this is happening because we see that there is high correlation between the cultural norms, values, or whatever we want to measure as attitudes towards uh, life, world, uh, altruism, etc., across uh, generations or within cultures, and that's the basis for calling cultures collectivistic or individualistic, and so on. They, Prima facie uh, evidence that there is uh, 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 transmission. So, uh, no need to justify why we're studying uh, social uh, values in, in, in this setting, uh, but for economists, uh, we know that there is some intergenerational transmission of, um, uh, of earning uh, uh, ability, and uh, 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 Becker's famous treatise on family talks about both transmission across generations of, uh, of um, earning power and of the values and uh, uh, attitudes that support that. And of course, Hackman has been uh, uh, emphasizing uh, uh, in recent uh, years the importance of non-cognitive uh, skills for earnings and uh, uh, otherwise success in, in, uh, in life. Now, we know that specific characteristic uh, preferences are important, not just for philanthropic uh, uh, purposes that uh, are emphasized uh, at this conference, but also for behavior in organizations and other uh, social settings. So that's what we are uh, uh, studying. Um, as Felix already uh, suggested, there is little uh, evidence on how transmission takes place at the micro level. Um, so we know that there is correlation between children and parents' altruistic tendencies, altruistic tendencies. I just gave here two uh, not entirely random uh, uh, references, uh, Rushton's uh, studies and uh, Alice Rossi uh, uh, from Madison, who has done a lot of studies that suggest transmission or, or, or at least correlation. Um, there is a recent uh, paper by, by Harvey Rosen and uh, Stephen Sims on the connection between uh, uh, people's giving and their exposure under, uh, uh, when they were under parent influence, how they, uh, the, 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 the contribution uh, in, in, in late adulthood, uh, sorry, in early adulthood is connected to that of, uh, uh, of their uh, early uh, uh, charitable behavior. Finally, there is a uh, very nice paper that uh, uh, principal author is, is uh, here, uh, uh, Mark. Uh, uh, Mark has studied uh, 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 a large number of uh, uh, databases to come up with the um, conclusion that talking to children is the one that is, is the mechanism for transmission of, uh, uh, of values. Now, this is based on surveys and, and uh, they are retrospective, but uh, exposure to behavior of parents seems to have uh, no influence on children's later uh, behavior, and you'll correct me if I, I mischaracterize uh, your findings. So, how, at the micro level, how does uh, intergenerational uh, 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 transmission of uh, values or altruistic uh, preferences uh, take place? So, we have one mechanism that I'll lump it together and call it family, which in part may be genes, right? And Rushton has studied some of this and many others. And uh, 
many of the uh, twin studies suggest that there is a tendency that is uh, shared by a uh, tendency to, to altruistic behavior that is shared by GS and of course shared environment families. Now families are of various types, uh, have families or have parents, uh, new parents and, and so on. So we've not investigated this in the, in the uh, analysis that uh, I will uh, talk about uh, in a few minutes. But that's of course an important mechanism for transmission of values. The other is specifically teaching and role modeling. Either talking to children or showing to children uh, and same in other institutions, so in schools, in uh, 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 public arena, culture, churches, etc. Finally, we have emulation. So you can talk until you bring the face to a child. If there is no capacity there to emulate or to imitate, then uh, there is no transmission of value. So we need uh, at least the second and third teaching and emulation, role modeling. Uh, to be present for transmission uh, 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 to occur in addition to what occurs uh, naturally in, 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 uh, through genes. So we have here, of course, you recognize uh, uh, <coughs> um, the monkey uh, seeing and uh, doing. Now, there are two principal intervening, uh, intervening uh, variables. One is how much or how long is the uh, exposure, uh, and the second is differences uh, of, uh, across, uh, across ages, and we've seen in both uh, previous presentations that this, uh, uh, that this matters. So our strategy is uh, we're, we're looking at, uh, a, um, at an early childhood center, and we're focusing on children three to five and a handful of early uh, six-year-olds, and we're evaluating the, those three effects that I uh, mentioned and we're doing dictator games uh, uh, following in the path of uh, previous uh, uh, dictator games done with uh, uh, children. So here are the theoretical questions uh, applied to one-shot situation in the uh, dictator games. So one will look at uh, sort of the uninfluenced uh, 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 behavior of children and of parents uh, to see if they are uh, correlated, to see if there is a family effect. We'll be looking at the teaching or role modeling uh, uh, effect, whether parents behave differently when they know that their giving will be shown to children as compared to when it's not, uh, 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 no, uh, when it is not uh, shown to their children. And finally, we'll look at the emulation effect. We'll see whether children change their behavior after they are shown what uh, their parents are doing. So we sampled uh, 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 700 parents. And uh, we had 167 pairs uh, uh, showing up at uh, GECC. I forgot what the G stands for, the name of the donor. Griffin. Griffin, sorry. Uh, it's not too far from here. And 167 uh, uh, pairs of parent child uh, showed up. So uh, parents had completed some background surveys. Uh, children underwent some tests. They are not uh, discussed in this. Uh, 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 in this presentation, they turned out not to matter and uh, could be too much uh, clutter. And parents participated in a dictator game, and then later, uh, shortly later, uh, children uh, did. And then everything was done uh, truthfully on both sides uh, uh, of um, both parents and uh, children. So here is the design, and I hope you can read. Yeah. So uh, because children at this age, especially at the lower end of uh, uh, this distribution, the three-year-old, have difficulty with counting, we chose six instead of the traditional ten items. Uh, parents uh, 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 dealt with dollars, and children uh, uh, chose from among five sets of uh, stickers which ones they liked. Most of that was their endowment, and they got it for each round. Uh, the description for uh, so. The, uh, the recipients, the receivers of uh, dictator game sending were either poor, which we called them poor, but that was never referenced in the experiments, poor or rich. Uh, uh, parents sent money to somebody who lives in a wealthy neighborhood, what we call it, uh, uh, described here. Uh, and uh, the children has uh, uh, sent it, to, sorry, the, the incomes are uh, reversed, uh, obviously. Uh, children uh, were shown uh, a, a 
a, a picture I'll show it to you later, uh, that describes the poor child, for a poor in quotes, and uh, a rich child with, who has a lot of uh, toys. Now, uh, here are the experimental uh, conditions. For parents, no show. So in this round, some uh, children from today's activities may be shown uh, the choices that you made, but your own child will not see that. So that's what we call no show. And the show, well, they were told that your child will see what uh, you have done in the uh, experiment. Turning to the uh, children's column, the NI or no influence, they just made their own uh, choices under influence. They were shown either mother or father or another, another adult. So some adults were uh, 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 not shown their own children, but to uh, other children. So we had, uh, 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 as you can see at the bottom, we have uh, 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 two groups of the parents were divided into two groups and children into uh, three, and those are the conditions and uh, receivers, and uh, we obviously had the reverse order. Uh, there is limited degrees of freedom. Uh, uh, you can uh, turn things uh, around. Uh, uh, in any event, uh, I will describe mostly this data, and this uh, will be a, a robustness check, but in the, the third group of, uh, a small group of children, 34, uh, were not shown, uh, uh, were not shown parents giving uh, under the so-called influence uh, conditions, so they are out of control. A standard uh, setup for uh, adults, and this is for uh, uh, children, so there was a red plate and a blue plate, and how much you give, and, and, and so on. You can understand, I have a little time to describe this. Uh, uh, and then they were shown a, a video under the influence condition to see how much the parent gave, although that was an animation video rather than the actual hands of uh, an adult, showing if the parent moved one from one plate to another, two, uh, uh, and so on. Okay, so no statistical effects for. Uh, 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 order uh, effect, so we uh, put everything. And we're focusing here on giving uh, to poor. If you remember, I just go up to, uh, 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 in the lower, uh, so in the first uh, round, the child in the low, in first uh, and second round were no influence for children. So they gave either to poor and then to rich, or to rich and then to poor, didn't matter. And then in the third round, most of them were under influence. So and it was giving to poor. So they were shown what the parent gave or the other adult gave to poor. Okay? So that's the, uh, 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 that's the essential setup. Here are the means. I will not discuss the fact that uh, uh, parents uh, distinguish between poor and rich, whereas children do not. That's a separate uh, 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 paper. Here we're focusing only uh, on uh, on poor, and uh, these are uh, the means, so they give uh, about a third, parents give a little more than uh, children, that pretty much is similar to, um, uh, to other uh, uh, studies. Now, I will focus on three issues here. One is the issue of heterogeneity that came up in both Peters and in Felix's uh, 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 story, heterogeneity that is associated with age, obviously and with the type of child. So we will need to incorporate that as part of our strategy of under-earthing and under-covering uh, any behavior in terms of uh, emulation. So we're talking about the three similar kind of uh, children that uh, were discussed earlier. Uh, selfish, fair, the fair is uh, uh, right in the middle, and uh, uh, generous, and then we <coughs> want to see whether that interacts with what the parents shows uh, in, in terms of teaching or uh, role modeling. We also look at role modeling. So as a parent, I know my child to be uh, generous, so maybe I'm myself fair or selfish, but I'm afraid to be judged by my child. So I will uh, behave differently than, than I would behave without uh, 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 my uh, behavior being shown to the children. And of course, they might be teaching. Now, uh, they might be just natural behavior, so I do not change my behavior because I behave naturally and normally in front of my children as well as when I'm not uh, uh, being uh, watched. Okay. Uh, 
estimation method. So we have here only six, uh, 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 seven possible giving uh, opportunities, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, as we know, uh, when uh, we use in dictator games larger endowments with 10, uh, uh, my uh, uh, experiments with Lewis and others, uh, uh, adults give, uh, you know, fractions. Now, that fractions on average that are different from what we have here. And obviously, the reason is because the opportunities to, to, to give fine uh, gradations are more limited when you have six dollars than when you have uh, ten dollars. We also know that uh, uh, some would like to give zero, and others would like to give more for whatever reasons that uh, uh, we all know, or, or, or maybe don't, uh, uh, collectively don't know. So these are uh, 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 the, the, the issues, and we're using uh, order pro, uh, probit. Uh, here is just very quickly x and s is x um, um, sent, uh, sent, sending by parent in the no show, and then uh, uh, y is sending by child, ni and uh, yi. And then we're using latent uh, uh, variables, and r is the round three, the influence. Uh, the influence uh, uh, condition. And di is a vector that will include the type of the child, namely general sphere uh, uh, or selfish, as well as um, whether the child is matched with a parent or uh, uh, the, the other adult and which parent. And finally, uh, sorry, um, uh, finally we matched uh, uh, boys with boys in terms of recipient and for parents, men with with other men, and, uh, and so on. Well, so mother is, uh, is a woman. OK, and we have these three uh, analyses, and I'll be done uh, uh, quickly. And let me just show you, this is the uh, family inheritance model. There is absolutely no uh, uh, correlation uh, between, uh, no, between what parent, uh, parents uh, send in no-show and what children uh, send under no uh, influence. And we're looking at. The, uh, the alpha, the first, uh, the first row. Let me show you the teaching, uh, 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 the teaching, uh, and what you want to see is uh, 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 the so the parent gives more if it's uh, uh, shown to a generous, uh, a, a generous uh, uh, a child. So the type uh, of the child who gives under no influence, uh, four, five, or six. Uh, uh, Stickers, and this is fixed effect, so uh, the dependent variable is uh, given by the parent uh, in both show and no show, and we identify. Just to clarify, you're saying the parent gives more when they know it's being shown to the child than when they know it's not being shown. Right, to but the child more to the child who is generous. Right. So, um, okay. And uh, finally, uh, the emulation uh, uh, effect. So our um, dependent variable, or depend it's a it's a, um, uh, it's a latent uh, latent uh, variable, zero, one, and so on. And the uh, so we're looking at how much uh, x s minus y and i, uh, how much uh, more does the parent give in the show condition? relative to what the child gave in the no influence condition. So how much does the child have to adjust uh, uh, to, uh, to um, uh, if, if he or she wants to, to match the, the parent? So this is the first three columns. And you can see the, the effects that I will summarize in uh, one slide. Uh, but you see the effects uh, of the child type, so they both uh, uh, the fair child is omitted, and the fair child adjusts least. So there is something that you uh, uh, you mentioned about the fair child or the equal splitter uh, uh, being uh, different about them, and uh, we see that here. The second uh, uh, is just the bottom part of the next three columns. The, 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 the previous effects are very, very similar to what uh, we've seen. So we see that there are no uh, uh, strong uh, effects, and, and there are no uh, ethnicity effects. So let me summarize this. I already, that's simple, family, no effect, teaching, there is effect, uh, parents of generous children give more in the show condition than parents of fair and selfish. And emulation, yes, 
with the qualifications that I've, uh, I've described. Namely, the greater the difference between what the parent gives in the show and what the child gives without influence, the likelier it is that the child will increase giving. Generous and selfish the same way. Now, of course, the generous have limited scope, but uh, uh, they behave more like a selfish rather than uh, the fair. And younger children emulate more. Now, why is that so? I'm not a psychologist. I've read Melanie Klein in a different context of identity, and I learned from what she wrote and others that children separate from their parents, or especially their mothers, around age three. So we're capturing the youngest as being more emulative or uh, uh, more in impression level than the uh, older children. And girls respond more strongly than boys. And, uh, uh, and my five-year-old girl responds much more than my eight-year-old boy to my uh, behavior. And, uh, and that's it.